My hair is too much of a brand for me. So like when it gets cut, poked. I'm gonna get clowned in the comments. I don't care though. I'm so I'm so just I'm over it. Yo, this looks so good. What's about to happen, Dylan? Oh shoot, what's about to happen? You're gonna blow my back out. I'm about to give Dylan his first taper ever. Ever since I met him, he's always had this mop on his head. I just really wanted to shave it. He's uh, giving me the Samzia taper so people can make edits of him. We're basically. turning him into a Samzia clone. The reason for this taper is we're going to the streamer awards tonight. I want to see Jinxie. Oh my god. I gotta look good for Jinxie, bro. Holy glaze. There's a chance Sky Bree might be there, and I really, really want to look good for Sky Bree because we were gonna hang out with her. <laughs> I'm actually a huge fan of her work. Don't really take anything off the top unless you're just evening the uh, odds. I, I, won't, I won't. actually don't think my hair is damaged. I tried the hair porosity thing that Lance made a video on, and my hair floated. It's a floater. It's a floater. It's a float I need to make sure not to say anything dumb, bro. I'm always trolling when I'm talking to Lance. Like, I have a whole different language. So, like, on the last time this happened, people were, like, saying that I have a TikTok language. But it's just it's just because Lance, bro. So, I'm the one who has a TikTok language? No, but when we're around each other, we don't speak English. What's funny, bro, is people, when they recognize me now, call me Dillington. <laughs> really? Yes. I started that, bro. It all started for anyone wondering, because people ask me all the time. I went up to Lance, and I said something about Rippington the Benjamin, and then every then we started adding inkton after everything but for anyone wondering i'm not gonna do a taper on the sides just because me and dylan decided that i'll look better because of my face shape and if you use the face shape filter on tiktok if you, you know, get your face shape from face shape if you get your sud scrub from sud scrub sud scrub some sud scrub <laughs> I can't put that in. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, people who don't know, don't like, dude, the issue with me and Lance is we have like infinite inside jokes. So, like, we'll put like five inside jokes in one sentence. And <laughs> bro, doesn't it doesn't even sense. sound like English language, bro. But, anyways, we're not, yeah, I'm just gonna taper the back to start because he looks really good with short hair in the back. When his hair comes out like this, I think it looks should. mess. It looks like I'm homeless. Do you want to tell me what happened last night? Because Cookie over there, you look horrible. <laughs> Where should we even start, bro? Yeah, I mean, Dylan and I got into a weird uh, experience together. At the hotel, I mean, fuck. Uh, whatever this place is called. Here, we started drinking some water that was not water. And then we went a little too crazy, me and Cookie both. We ended up leaving. And then the whole Uber ride to USC, we were trolling the Uber. Yeah, our Uber was like talking about Crystal, like how she recovered from Crystal Meth. Super proud. Super proud of her for that. Dude, it's all a blur, to be honest. We went in the, we were trolling the Uber driver. First of all, like explain like what you guys did. We went to a USC party. I thought it'd be really funny to bring Dylan. Dude, a ton of frat dudes. Like I kept getting recognized. I'll I'll send you the clip because I recorded it. So many dudes there were recognizing me. And then also some some baddies. There's this chick from Hawaii. She took me into a back room. The back rooms? The, dude, a hidden room. And Cookie and like everyone, they couldn't find me, bro. And I couldn't even find myself because I was so out of it. Like, I don't need, I had no idea where. You were trying to find yourself? Okay, wait, I want to start at the Uber. So the, <laughs> the Uber, we weren't trolling the Uber just to like troll her. It was like. For safety. Yeah, we ended up just like making a comfortable situation where she opened up about her life and then told us about her like addictions and stuff and how she's grinding Uber and makes 8k a month on Uber, which is pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. really? Yeah, 8K she makes 8k a month, 8K a month That's gotta be cap. But she's like, yeah, I'm buying my second house. Yeah. We got in the Uber and the first thing she talks about is how if she saw a rich person, she's gonna try and get a big tip. She was like, oh, you guys are coming out of a nice apartment we came building. Out of a luxury, like this is a luxury apartment. So instantly all we were saying like, yeah, our parents don't support us. We ran away to LA. We're barely surviving. Out here. Yeah, we, we have five people living in this one studio apartment or something like that. Anyways, you're trolling this Uber and then you got to the party. Oh uh, yeah, then by the time we were like not even walking in, like we're walking on the street to get to the frat house, I Dylan's threw. already yak. The school security guard is like, is your friend okay? Like, is he okay? I'm like, yeah, no, he's fine. Like, that was a bro, I don't remember any of this, by the way. But now that you're saying it, I do remember. Cookie was telling me to like, ch he's like, chill out, chill out. I'm like, why? As I'm like throwing up everywhere. Yeah, because I don't want her to like have to confiscate my friend before yeah. we get in this party. She's gonna take him to like Yeah, the like I don't know what the they're gonna do with you. I don't want to skip through the story, but like I knew it was severely bad when I didn't think we were gonna make it home, bro. Like we're in the Uber on the way home. Yeah, me and yeah. Cookie are literally speaking through each other's minds. We're not saying a word. We're just looking at each other and like nodding off, bro. Oh, you didn't think we were making it home like in the Uber? I literally, we could have been kidnapped and I would not have done anything. I think people are gonna be like, Dylan Latham doesn't even have the Dylan Latham perm. Yeah, some bullshit. oh, you're so right. Oh, it's so over. They're gonna be like, oh my God, bro is one of us. My hair is too much of a brand for me so like when it gets cut cooked. i'm pretty much yeah fuck i'm pretty much done 
with that blowout. So now I just gotta line it up. Show Cookie. Oh yeah, okay. His neck is so hairy. Yeah, you see this shit? you're a hairy guy, Dylan. Yeah. Cook me up, bro. For having like the testosterone of a woman, you're very hairy. You're like a bear. Hey, don't disrespect the test, bro. I got a hairier chest than me. Bro is like the hairiest beast I've ever slept with. Second hairiest beast you ever slept yeah, with. Yeah, he's the second hairiest beast. I feel like with the, that hair being gone, it like makes my head looks, look true to size. Like my head looks massive, but it's, it's really, it's really not that One big. size fits all. Okay, I'm gonna take the sides down to like a four, which is like the number I start with for the taper. I'm gonna get clowned in the comments. I don't care though. I'm so, I'm so just, I'm over it. Dylan's just a stoic, philosophical guy. Like, no, I've become so much more stoic in recent times. Try to leave some amount of hair on my ears if you can. Yeah, I am. But dude, these three dudes who knew me from TikToks, when I was like gone, like cooked on the couch, like leaning in and out, they all got on their knees, three of them in front of me, and started pointing at their jawlines and doing the mewing thing. No way. Yes, to revive me. <laughs> they were literally reviving me like Fortnite, bro. Do you have a video of that? I don't. They were doing a ritual for you. Someone probably does, but yes, they did a they did a mewing ritual to revive me. I remember when you were just fucking passed on out the on couch. the couch. Okay, so how did this girl take you to the back rooms? Like, how did this even happen? So basically, I walk in and I see this girl instantly. She's like, oh, are you that guy on TikTok? And I was like, no. Or I was like messing around. I don't know. <laughs> no. And I was like, no. I'm that guy on the phone. I'm that. <laughs> no. I was like, no. I don't know what I said. She's like, you're Dylan. I was like, yeah, that's me. Then I gave her a hug because I was unaware of what's going on. The whole night goes on. And then eventually, towards the end, she finds me again. And was like, come here. And she takes me in the back room, bro. And then she just said, come here. She said, come here. Just on some demanding, confident shit. Oh, so you like to be bossed around. So she basically dominated she you. She basically dominated me like <laughs> we talked about on the Squid Hoss podcast. And she took you to the back rooms and just started eating your face. Uh, yeah, basically, yeah. I hope she sees this, bro. She's, she's from Maui. She told me that Maui is the place to be. Yo, line up my hairline, bud. No. Give me the box line up, put a thunderbolt in my head, and then... Slit in the eyebrow. Dylan, what do you think the appeal of frat parties are? The appeal? Yeah. Like, what makes them... Like, enjoyable? would you want to go a lot? I stopped going to a lot Dude, of those parties. No. I only do, like, stuff like that, like, max once a month. Because, like... The idea of us going together, though, is really fun. Yeah, yeah it's the definition of anti-productivity. Yeah, yeah, But you get to see some of the fruits of your labor, like, when people recognize you or something. It's like, dang, bro. I'm, like, saying, yeah, as if people fucking recognize me. Me. Yeah, it's kind of like seeing the results. Like, number one, realizing you can afford anything no matter what. Like, you don't have to look at the Oh, number. yeah, by the way, Dylan paid $80 to get in. Which was stupid. Which is so dumb. Robbery. They should have paid me to get in, bro. Not because <laughs> of, like, TikTok, but because of, like... Because of Snapchat. Because of what happened. Yeah, because of... <laughs> <laughs> because you because got of dominated. That one snap story post I put... <laughs> The Instagram caption, I keep bringing this up, but we keep asking people if we would get canceled for saying this. So we thought of this Instagram caption where we post. This one's slightly controversial. We're not trans, but everybody says they do. I just side-eyed the camera. Bro. See, I like the thing is, mad at that, it's so funny, but I feel like there's a lot of people who are going to get offended and they're going to be like, oh, like, why are you making a joke out of our pronouns and shit like that? What do you think? Oh, that's fire. Yeah. Oh, I messed with this. Yeah. Let's go. This actually looks like really good. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, I went like surgery mode, bro. Cause I had to like keep certain areas longer, like around the ears, like you said. Shave my neck, bro. Yeah, let me get that neck. I messed with this cut so much already. Like genuinely. Genuinely or ungenuine or disingenuously, disingenuous. Flight reacts. Yeah. OG flight reacts. Fans disingenuous CEO. <laughs> See, like that was one of our. Yeah, like nobody understands that. Or we start the modding compilation. We gotta add some powder just to the back, especially to make sure. Cause he's got straight hair, right? So we need to have the back come out like this, so you can see that the top of his hair is curly because of the perm. But we really want to like, we really want to get the powder in these spots where the hair is straight to add more texture. Yeah, for hair that short, that's where like texture powder is gonna be the best. Just for straight hair in general. Yo, this looks so good. Final words of the world right now, Dillington. Black face body work. He's gonna bleep that out. But I, uh, my face body works.